electricity came in until around 10 o'clock p.m. So hey guys, what's up? Oh man, so sorry. Yeah. It's okay. Good evening. Good evening. Hey, good good evening. evening. How's it going? Evening. Thank you very much for logging in. And um, I heard you were talking about electricity, right? Yeah, yes. that was my problem last Thursday. Last I had the Thursday. issue. Yeah, and for some reason my cell phone didn't have any power left, so I couldn't take the class. Um, no worries. Sorry about that. Uh, don't worry, I understand. All right, guys, so um, it's a pleasure you're here. First of all, I would like to know how you're doing with the platform. Are you having any complications with the platform? Uh, uh, for me, no. Not really. All good. I'm doing good so so far because, but I'm trying to get ahead. But I'm stuck in like five point something. Okay. But I'm trying to solve some issues that I have. Um, maybe I didn't pay attention to the. Um, I didn't see the videos. I just tried to solve the exercises without listening to the instructions first. Mm -hmm. So yep. I'm gonna go back again and yeah. <laughs> Got it. That, that's going to give you a lot of trouble, though, at the yeah, beginning. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. All right. Now, let's go ahead and recap what we covered last Thursday. Can anybody help me out with that topic? Does anybody remember? I really hope you do remember, my dear fellas. Uh, we were talking about past models, about deduction and speculation. Okay, nice. Um, William. Yep. Like it's what, for example? She example? might have, she might have, she could have, or she could have, ah. plus, plus possible. Now, do you remember that, uh, that I mentioned that I was going to choose some victims? It was not going to be, you know, volunteer. Mm -hmm. So okay. let me go ahead and choose some victim right now. I'm going to okay. close my eyes and I'm going to touch the screen. Oh. <laughs> Arturo. I'm picking. Arturo. Right, teacher. Go ahead. Tell now, remember that the, the images change the order when you're talking. So, you know, it's the same way that, you know, sometimes politicians decide the, the laws for a Salvador. Yeah, sure. Okay. Arturo, go ahead. Give me an example. Um. Uh, he might, um, I, I, I remember when we talk about uh, uh, must have a, a and I have an example I must I must not have a, a, to run my my TV with a storm okay got it good enough now thank you Arturo good yeah left right or down uh, right. William Vasquez. Okay. Uh -huh. For example, uh, there's a broken cup on the floor. Uh, someone could have dropped it. Someone could have could dropped have. it. Yep. Could have. Someone Remember that could pronunciation. Have. Could have. Could have. Nice. Could have dropped it. Um, okay. Up or down? Hmm? Up or down? Up. Irene. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Hey, good evening. Um, would you mind giving me an example of Thursday's class? Yeah. I remember that um, we are uh, we were a student mm -hmm. studying. Uh, studying sorry, Rizzo. Uh huh. Reason I, I don't I don't yeah reasons reason um, I I don't remember sorry okay, no, no, don't worry. <laughs> thank no, you don't be sorry <laughs> but that's one of my rules but remember guys that you gotta be on top of the game right don't worry about okay. this girl you got this I know you always practice all right so one more let me see. Irene, give me a letter. F, E, V, or D? F. F, 
Francisco. The last okay. one. <laughs> okay. Um, last Thursday we talked about um, the um, pro, like if you if you want to meet somebody in any place, right? But probably he, he don't get there, you know, where you're supposed to be tell him to go, you know, to meet him. So the the example we we can say that she she may have like forgotten all the time. She so, may have she may have forgotten the time there you go. or or she must not have turned her or her call if if we call him call, call her you know okay or Got probably it. probably um her car could have broken down or something her car could have broken down good job so nice francisco hey that's what i'm talking about you gotta be on top of the game good job boy now let's go ahead and continue. Are you ready for today's topic? Yep, yes. You're ready. Nice. This topic is a continuation of previous one because it has a lot to do. So let's go ahead and read with me, please. Lesson objective. Lesson objective. Lesson objective. By the end of this class, participants will have learned the use of past models for giving opinions and advice on real and hypothetical past events. By the end of this lesson, participants will have learned the use of past models for giving opinions and advice on real and hypothetical events. Hypothetical past past events. You're gonna link it. Past events. Past events. Past events. Past events. 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 Yes. I need a volunteer. Well, somebody that has not participated. On real or hypothetical. Okay, thank you, David. Your turn. Okay, by the end of this session, participants will have learned the use of past models for giving opinions and advice on real and hypothetical past events. Past events. Past, past events. events. Here we have a rule, guys. Most of the times when you have the letter T, and you have a, uh, a vowel after that. What are the vowels, guys? You have five. A, E, I, -E -I O, U. -U. That's right. What are the consonants? The rest. The rest. The rest, the rest, the rest of the rest. So, B, D, E, M. <laughs> that's right. So when you have letter T, this is a link consonant to vowel. Past events. But letter T is a held sound. That means that you are not going to say past events you don't let it go when you have this combination t plus e or any vowel so you're gonna say pass you're gonna hold it and you're gonna release it in the vowel pass t events pass events pass events pass events that's right events so you tell me if it's correct or incorrect past events Correct. Past, past events. Correct. Past events. Correct. That's incorrect. Listen again. Past, past events. events. It's incorrect. 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 Why? Because I released the T. Yo solté la T. La terminé de pronunciar. Past events. Okay. Esa separación es donde mucha gente se da cuenta, mm, este no es nativo. Right? Um, so we're going to say okay. past, past events. T, como que subimos la T y la soltamos cuando llega la vocal. Past events. Past events. Past events. Past events. Solo que el estrés está en la segunda E, no en la primera. Past events. Va para arriba. Past events. Past events. Past events. Past events. So, guys, my recommendation is the following. Go ahead and read an article. Go ahead and read the news in English. Go ahead and open, I don't know, if you follow any page on Facebook where it's only in English, go ahead and look in the comments below, right? You're going to find a lot of grammar mistakes, but you're going to find people who their native uh, language is English. 
So try to look for words that finish in T and are followed by a vowel. You're gonna find that they are super common. So once you understand to link the T to the vowels, you're gonna sound much, much fluent. I guarantee that to you. All right. Okay. So any questions about Thank this you. thing? I have I have a question, teacher. Sorry. Go ahead, girl. Um in this case, the is better the subtitle subtitle or subtitle in your in in movie? Is prefer the subtitle subtitle? I don't know. Um yeah, but at the beginning I would recommend you to watch the movie in English and with subtitles in Spanish or the closed caption. You can find it that way. The closed caption. Once that you understand a little bit, then English and English. Right? English and English. Of course, there are going to be some words that you will not understand. But go ahead and write it down quickly so you can have vocabulary. All right? Okay, thank you. Now, one recommendation I'm going to give you guys is that if you want to learn English, I would recommend you to practice this with movies that you have already seen. For example, Irene, what's your favorite movie? My favorite movie is Beethoven. Beethoven. How many times have you seen that movie? And how many times? How many times have you seen that movie? Um, uh, two, two weeks ago. But how many times have you seen it? Quantas veces la has visto? Ah, uh, okay, sorry. Um, maybe five. Okay, you see? Uh, uh, do you have children, guys? Yes. Uh, no. How many times? Well, for those of you who don't have children, you're lucky. For those of you who have children, you're lucky too, but you have more work to do. All right. So if you notice, children watch the movies over and over no, and okay. over again. And this is how they learn. Every time they see the movie, they learn more. They understand more. It's true. <laughs> so, and that's how we learn. The same applies to us. My recommendation will be for you to use your favorite movies. In my case, it's going to be, that's my boy, is an Adam Sandler's movie. He has very bad movies, but he's one of my favorite actors. So I've seen that movie many, many times, right? And there's a point that you know the dialogues, right? You know them by heart, the memoria, you know them by heart. So once you understand them in English, you understand what they want to say. Right? So I what, think the TV series mm -hmm. TV series will help you too like yes if you watch TV series like Friends mm -hmm. I like Charm mm -hmm. and I watch it over and over and over and something that I forget when I watch it again I'm like okay now I get it and you get different things that's right you know? that's right so with movies that you have never seen just go ahead and, and, and enjoy the movie write a couple of words two or three words and that's it let it go enjoy it it's your time you are learning anyways. Teacher, I'm sorry. How do you say aprendeslas de memoria? Learn it by heart. Or memorize it. Learn it. I'm going to write it down in the chat. Learn it by heart. Learn it by heart. Learn it by heart. Heart. Like corazón. Okay. No, no, mind. Heart. No, learn it by heart. Okay. Learn it by heart. So, para que continuemos, guys, para no estancarnos mucho en esto, y contestar la pregunta de Irene, sí, películas. Está bien, películas que no han visto, agarren un par de cositas. Lo demás solo traten de entender. Right? Si ustedes quieren aprender vocabulario, véanlo un montón, como que son niños, su película favorita, y poco a poco les aseguro que van a ir entendiendo. Y es cosas que no se les van a olvidar. All right? uh, for example, en, los, en, en una película creo que mencionan un calabozo, Dungeon, y inmediatamente la asocié con una canción que se llama London Dungeon. Entonces, ahí me cayó que Dungeon era calabozo. ¿Cuántas veces he usado esa palabra en mi vida? Nunca leí, te voy a meter al calabozo. Nunca le he ocupado. Pero no se me olvida porque lo relacioné, lo asocié con algo que me gustaba. Y Dungeon and de... Dragons. Ajá, Dungeons and Dragons. Y ese tipo de, de aprendizaje que ustedes andan buscando, uno natural, que sean cosas significativas. 
si van a aprender verbos, que les sirvan. No el, el primero que dicen abide o a bit, ni siquiera sé cómo es que se pronuncia, que nunca lo he ocupado. Right? Ocupen cosas oh. significativas. All right? Okay. Okay. So, that let's is... go ahead and continue. I really hope that these tips are as helpful as possible. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. So, past models for opinions and advice. Let's go ahead and watch this video. You got to really pay close attention to it because it talks about very useful but you can get confused if you don't pay attention, all right? Take your face. Mute your mics, please. I'm sorry about the internet, guys. It is acting up. Acting up, that's a phrasal verb. It is giving some issues. It is acting up. Acting up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let me try again. This is the situation. There has been a misunderstanding about you at work with a workmate. Type Welcome. We will now study past models for opinions and advice. Don't go as we are sure this is going to be useful for you. Past models for opinions and advice. Giving opinions. You should have called her on the phone. She shouldn't have kept your notes this long. Giving advice. You could have been more understanding. I would have borrowed someone else's notes. I wouldn't have lent them to her. Giving opinions. When giving opinions, we may use should have or shouldn't have. I will give you two sentences. You should have called her. Molly shouldn't have kept your notes. In the example, you should have called her. Molly is giving an opinion. She thinks Michi was wrong to send emails. Molly shouldn't have kept your notes. Michi is giving an opinion. She thinks Molly was wrong to keep the notes. This is the rule. Subject plus should, not plus have plus participle. When giving advice, we may use would have All right, so this is gonna give. This is gonna be the structure, guys, and this is for you to give your opinion. All right. Now, um, a quien le ha dicho nombre no le hubiera llamado. Ya no te quiere. Right. Ya pasó. Ya le llamó. Pero ahí estamos nosotros de Nesio, de Meques, dando nuestra opinión de algo que a veces ni nos han preguntado. So this is this is pretty much, guys, the structure. No debiste haber ido. You should you have gone. Shouldn't you have, have gone. gone. Right? How do you say, let's go ahead and write a couple of things. How do you say, no hubieras bebido tanto? You shouldn't have you drunk too much. Have drunk. Drunk. You should have, have, drunk. have drunk too much. Uh -huh. So much. You're Drink, a... drunk, or drunk? Drunk. 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 Uh -huh. drunk. 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 You shouldn't have drunk. You shouldn't have drunk. Uh -huh. you, shouldn't you shouldn't have drunk too much. No de vista haber bebido tanto. Now, mm -hmm. what other opinion can you give? You shouldn't have left so early. <laughs> yes, from class, right? Like you, you say, you should have, you should have called her again. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay. You shouldn't have left too early. No te hubiese sido tan temprano. What is the other one? The one you said, you should have called her again. What was it? You shouldn't. You shouldn't have called her again. Uh huh. You shouldn't have called her called again. Her again. At 3 a.m. in the morning, very drunk. Yeah. Man. Have some respect <laughs> for yourself. Don't do that, please. <laughs> okay. 
no les voy a preguntar quiénes lo han hecho, ¿ok? Que les quede a ustedes solos. Now, give me some other things. Uh, for example, I didn't wake up early for my class. And it's because I stood up the whole night watching Netflix. You shouldn't have watched too much Netflix. You shouldn't have watched too much Netflix. Netflix. Okay, nice. I feel sick. I ate too much. You shouldn't have eaten. You shouldn't have eaten too much. Junk food. Too much junk food, okay. Yeah. Now, I see that you're doing great as using examples with shouldn't. Um, and we can use should too, too, right? Guys, aquí hay una que está mala. Yo no sé si es que yo lo puse así o el corrector me lo cambió. You haven't have watched too much, too much Netflix. Right there is going to be should. You, you should shouldn't have watched. Uh -huh. Exactly. Now, give me advice with should. In my case, I should have charged my cell phone last Thursday. Nice. I should have. <laughs> Remember, should have. Should have charged my cell phone last Thursday. Uh -huh. cell phone. But I didn't. <laughs> uh -huh. Last Thursday. Thursday, but I didn't. All of this is going to the chat. All right. Give me three more examples with should, please. I should have gone to the beach while I could. <laughs> okay. I should have gone <laughs> to the beach while I could. Nice. Next. Two more. I but should I, have rested more yesterday. I should have rested more more yesterday. Yesterday. Nice. You should have studied more for the test. Okay. I should have studied more for the test. Again, there's another one that says have and it should have. You should have learned should have. another language. Uh-huh. Now, let's go ahead and give them names, guys, because instead of you and I, we can, we can have more. We can have subjects. My Lisa brother, should have studied more yesterday. Julissa. Lisa. Mm -hmm. Julissa or Lisa should have studied more yesterday. Uh -huh. Studied what? more yesterday. Uh -huh. Using a guy's name. Using a guy's name. Oscar Carlos. should have bought a new car. Oscar should have bought nice. Should have bought a new car. Uh -huh. Now remember that there's a story behind. There's always a story behind. For Oscar it could have be my car broke down at the middle of the road. Man, you should have bought a new car. I told you this was gonna happen. Got it? So there's always a story behind. Now, what I wanted to do, guys, is that I'm going to open up the break rooms and I wanted to mention some, uh, let's call it funny mistakes, right? Let's call them funny mistakes. Like, for example, I didn't close the water tap. So that's why my apartment flooded. No se la llave, the water tap. Flooded. Water tub, water tub, so my apartment flooded. Hey man, you should have closed it. You should have paid attention, right? You should have kept an eye on it. So you're gonna give advice. Any question? I'm sorry, um, opinion. Alguna pregunta? No. No. No lo veo convencidos, pero nos vamos al agua patos. So, van a mencionar algo que ustedes la hayan regado. Tampoco digan, es que mira, no lloren, vea, no lloren. Alguien que le hayan regado. Ya más gente le va a dar su opinión. Shower. Ajá, su opinión un poquito ahí de make, pero no lo están pidiendo, ¿ok? So, guys, let's go okay. ahead and make sure you use should and shouldn't. So, you can use both. And also talk okay. about other people, right? Go ahead and accept the, the invite. So, we're going to start practicing right now. Go, 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 go. Uh, I just... Invite, invite.
<laughs> I should have yeah. learned another language before because in this moment probably my fluency was better. <laughs> exactly. Like I should have learned Japanese because I love uh, anime. You know, I love watch anime and I just listen and repeat but when I try to speak it it doesn't make any sense. So I should yeah. have practiced Japanese and I will be trilingual now. <laughs> But I consider Japanese difficult, I don't know, but... <laughs> yeah, it's 127 vowels, or I think letters that you have to learn, so... Really? Yeah, I have enough with English, so, yeah. Oh, your legs, you fell down, right? You, you, yeah. you fell? Yes. You fell right. I hit the ground with the motorcycle. Damn, that's oh. dangerous. So he fell down. Se cayó. He fell down. Yeah. Down. Yeah, oh, down. Okay. You you should all uh you should all um, do three them uh do them of uh, of uh, best in the street yeah. best yeah. hmm. okay all right this is good give me your example now i'm gonna ask you back you want thing that you have to like, find uh -huh. things that remember happens. yep you can say something that happened to you and the other person will give the opinion then give the opinion i in in my case uh, yeah. in my case uh I I I was uh, I was drive uh, my car. I was driving. Yeah. I was driving my car in mm -hmm. in the street. Um, uh, and in in a moment. Uh, yeah. uh, my car is make a, a noise mm -hmm. make Ma a noise made made a noise give the past made, tense. made a noise mm -hmm. made a noise mm -hmm. um you better um you should you should have like um um like um, um, fix it before you drive it. Uh -huh. You should have fixed. It. You should have. You have. You should have fixed it before. Or you, or you should you know watch uh, on all, like all the 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 um, the stuff on the car before you, you know you uh -huh. put the start on. Before okay. uh -huh, before you started, remember that sure you gotta, if you are using this structure, you have to use the past participle. So it's the third right. column. Keep on practicing, guys. Let me check another one. All right. Okay. Don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> but from evaluation, you are doing exercise. That's I find hard to do that at home because it's it, and I it think... will take a lot of time, and either I have a lot of things to do at home. And, that's the way you need in my screen. Yeah. That's take and out the trash. <laughs> taken out. Your meaning taken out. Teacher, mm -hmm. I have a question. Go ahead. How do you say sacar la basura? <laughs> take out the trash. Ah, okay. That's I was right. Taken take out. out. Take yeah, out the take trash. Take out. Sorry. Take out. Mm -hmm. Take yep. out. So, um, so 
I want to hear one of your opinions, uh, one of your opinions, one of your examples using the structure, please. Okay, so I was talk, uh, talking to Veronica that mm -hmm. I spent today, the whole day, watching series, so I didn't study enough for the class. Mm -hmm. So what I should I have done? Mm -hmm. You shouldn't have watched a lot of TV. Yeah, nice. what else? Uh -huh. I should have studied. Study all, all day. Yeah. You should have started all day. There you go. All right. Keep on, guys. We're just going to be like this for a couple of more minutes, and then we go back. Great job. Okay. Okay. Thank you. So, where are you from? By the way. Hey. So, guys, how are you doing? I'm doing great. Okay. Nice. 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 All right. Go thank ahead. You. Want to see what you got? Uh, I should have visited my grandparents while I could because of the quarantine. Now I don't have enough time to visit them. Mm -hmm. Okay, got it. That's great. Irene? Right. <laughs> in in my case, I should have studied English since I was, uh, I was shy <laughs> because it's more, it's easier. Uh -huh. Okay, nice, it's easier. All right. Yeah. Great, great, great. Just give a couple more and then we go back. Just a couple more minutes. Let me check the last group. Okay. All right. Yeah. Good job, guys. All right. Sure. How are you doing? Okay. I'm doing well. Good. Okay. Julio okay. okay. is mute. Or it's mute or mute. How we say mudo? Mute. Mute. Okay. Uh -huh. Julio is mute. Okay. Uh, so in that case, it's going to be Julio is muted. Okay, Julio is muted. Mm -hmm. All right, very good. Well, you want, want to see what you got, guys? Give me a couple of examples before we go back. We was, um, I was telling you, I show how I to university when I was younger. Mm -hmm. um, Arturo was saying that he should, should have be. What 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 do you say? <laughs> no, no, it, it, it was some, it was something in hard, but it, it, with the context of this time, of the right now, I I said uh, you you should you should have respect the quarantine. Mm, okay. Six right now. That's right. <laughs> but That's right. Uh, we are we are thinking about something bad, something on the men. <laughs> Yeah, and, and then right. I say I I I, sh I, I should ha I should have studied for priest <laughs> for a yeah, priest <laughs> priest but priest. a cura for a priest yeah. that's priest yeah. Yeah. Uh, you would be without a job right now estarías en trabajo ahorita but anyways that's a different <laughs> <Yes>. story <laughs> okay um, yes I I like your your I like the structure that you're using. Just remember that the verbs are going to be in past participle, which yeah. is the third column. So, Arturo, try to do it one more time. Say the, your example one more time and try to fix it, please. Um, I, mm -hmm. I, you should have respect. Respected. The quarantine. There you go. The quarantine. The quarantine. Quarantine. That's right. All right. That's what I'm talking about, sir. Let's go ahead and go back to the main room. Good job. Okay. Hey, and you, girl, how old are you? Elizabeth? Hola. How old are you? How old? How old are you? Uh, 28. So you still have time. Stop saying you don't have time, girl. You can still what? do it. Stop saying you don't 29. have time, that you're too old. You can still do it if that's your goal. About going oh, to Okay. <laughs> Keep it in mind. Okay. It's, never, it's never too late. Okay. All right.
Hello. Hello. Hey, what's up? Sorry, I was talking Hello. to you and I was muted. Okay, guys. So um, let me go ahead and hear a couple of examples. Somebody that has not participated. Uh, Veronica, give me an example, please. Whether it's for you or for the person you talk to. Uh, I I was speaking with uh, I was speaking about the for example the I don't know how to say Come on, give it a try. <laughs> uh, how do you say the el camión de la basura? The garbage truck. The garbage truck uh, passes tomorrow at the eight, at the four. A.M. Past, past we'll tomorrow have, or will pass tomorrow? Will pass tomorrow at okay. the 8 a.m. Uh -huh. and, I, and I should, I should have taken out the trash mm -hmm. uh, today. Oh, okay. But yesterday. But it's, but it's raining and I can't uh, say it uh, now. Now I understand. Good job, girl. Good structure. Excellent. Just uh, be, a, be a little bit careful with mixing past and future. Yes. Mm -hmm. But other than that, I understand pretty well. Nice context. Um, give me a letter, please. Uh, B. B. B as in boy or D as in David? David. Douglas, your turn. Give me an example, okay. please. <clears throat> I should have eaten tortilla soup today because it's a delicious, typical Mexican food. Oh. <laughs> Damn, David, nice example. Good. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> what do you say? <laughs> what do you say, David? <laughs> <laughs> David, can you repeat your example? How do you say that? I should have. Right. So, perfunctory. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> now go ahead, can, Douglas. Can you? Uh, uh huh. Okay. Yeah, go ahead, Douglas. Uh, I was talking with my partner. Uh huh. Uh, before the quarantine, I had some opportunities to go to the disco. However, I rejected those opportunities. And now I think I should have gone to the disco with my friends to have a good time. Okay. Okay. Good grammar example. But now you might have COVID 19. So. Man, you made a great decision, boy. <laughs> All right, so uh, let's go ahead and, and move on. I think that we are all clear with this thing. We are going to cover the second part, which is super similar. The only thing that is going to change is the context. So let's pay attention for the next 37 seconds. Mute your mics, please. Pub plus party simple. When giving advice, we may use would have or could have. I will explain the meaning of would have like this. I wouldn't have sent so many messages. Molly is imagining this hypothetical situation happening to her and saying she would have done things differently. All right, before you continue, before we continue, I wouldn't have, wouldn't have, wouldn't have the same as, the same structure, guys. But we are using would or wouldn't instead of should. Yeah. That's it. When yeah. you use you should is that hubieses hecho tal cosa. In this case, you are using yourself as an example. Yo no hubiera mandado tantos mensajes. It's like when you give an advice, but putting yourself as an example. Right, so a quien en, a quien les ha tocado eso que dice, mira, yo no hubiese hecho eso. How many times have you been in that situation? Too many times. Yeah. Too many. Many times. So this is an example of that you, the person giving advice, would have done things differently. I would have waited. Yo hubiera esperado. Right, it's when you use this example. Now, would you mind giving me two examples of this, please? I would have thought. I, so. uh -huh, I think we have Tomas and Elizabeth. 
Uh -huh. Elizabeth. I would have I would have bought something. Hubiera comprado algo. Okay. Nice. Yeah. I would have asked permission before doing it. Okay, nice, good. That's a very good recommendation when you're a teenager, but you know. Yep. All right, let's keep it in mind because we're gonna use it. And we go to the last one. This is the situation. There has been a misunderstanding about you at work with a workmate. Type in an opinion as well as an advice using past models. All right, one that the, that the video didn't mention is would have or could have. Would have is when you put yourself as the person, yo hubiese hecho tal cosa, o él hubiese hecho tal cosa. All of these are hypothetical situations because they already happened. No, me le hubiera dicho que sí. Bueno, ya estuvo. Ya le dije que no. It happened. Could have, le pudiese haber dicho que sí. So the meaning is slightly different and is used to give advice. Before we continue, do you have any question about this structure, the use of wood and could? Can you repeat the, the, the use of wood and could? Yes, wood is when you put yourself as a, yourself or someone else as an example. Yo hubiese hecho tal cosa en tu posición. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. I would have, I would have gotten divorced, man. If that would be my case, I would have gotten divorced. Yo me hubiera divorciado, me hubiese divorciado. I could have, yo me podría haber divorciado. Posibilidad. Ajá. So uh -huh. They are both, as far as possibility. And they are both on real situations, hypothetical. Mm -hmm. Why? Because you're giving advice to something that already happened. Ah. Right? Ese consejito tardío que hace más daño que bien muchas veces. Entonces, would when the you didn't ask for <laughs> sometimes unless that you ask for it what would you have done que hubieses hecho vos a veces si lo pedimos that mira que hubieses hecho vos would and could is podría tu podrías haber hecho tal cosa ok no hubieses podido hacer hecho tal cosa is it clear it's a little bit similar yeah Mm -hmm. okay. I would not have written so many errors. Okay, yeah, that's good. Yo no hubiese escrito tantos errores. Como diciendo, ya ves, me hubiese puesto a mí en vez de a él. <laughs> right? I would have listened to the teacher. Exactly. Giving advice to someone who's not paying attention. Got it. Mm -hmm. Give me one okay. way. Good. I will have paid attention to teacher. Aha, yo podría haber puesto atención. Did you pay attention? Yeah. No, you didn't. All right, guys. So I think you got it. I'm going to open up new groups. Now we're going to use would and could. I'm going to change the groups a little bit. Give me a second. Give me a second. We'll create all of them. Okay. I want to accept the invite. Now I have three people per room. All right. You got five minutes, so you can use it as much as you can. Of what? What's up, guys? What is the meaning of called me? It's, uh, uh, for example, got married. You get married? Ah, gotten, gotten married. Mm -hmm. Ah, yeah, yeah. Gotten, gotten married. You, you wouldn't have gotten married. Wow. <laughs> okay. Thank you. One of the best advice. <laughs> 
cabal donde más me duele. Uy, sorry. It's okay. a coincidence. I would have planned a better party. Mm -hmm. I would have planned a better party. And William, or I, I have a question. Have... That's um, a good advice. Is that advice to yourself or to Veronica? To myself. Uh, mm. uh, the structure, right? Yes. Would I would have... recommend you would have. Remember that would have is when you normally give your opinion about something else. Okay. So if it's about you, you can easily use I should have. I should have. Mm -hmm. Si es un, un consejo puchica, hubiese hecho tal cosa, I would normally uh, recommend it to you should. Okay. Now, if you're talking about someone else, mira, en tu posición, I would have, yo hubiese hecho tal cosa. Ah, yeah. That's one of the main differences. Mm. For example, if I can, I can say, I should you should have, you should have, you shouldn't have gotten married. No, I have an other example. Ah. I shouldn't. I shouldn't have studied public accountant. Okay. Yep. For mm -hmm. I. I shouldn't, you shouldn't. Acordémonos que con should mm -hmm. solo estamos dando con, eh, nuestra opinión. Mm -hmm. Puede ser con cualquier sujeto. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Con would, generalmente, tú dices, eh, yo hubiese hecho esto o yo hubiera hecho esto. Ahí mm -hmm. tú, tú das tu opinión, pero poniéndote tú de ejemplo. Mira, yo no lo hubiese vendido. Yo no me hubiese casado, papayito. Right? Así que con would generalmente ocupas, te ocupas a ti mismo. Ok. Con would, uno mismo. Con could es podría. Ajá. Ajá. Generalmente, would. podría. Eh. Exactly. En could, pueden ocupar cualquiera. Mira, you could have, uh, pero generalmente es a la persona que hizo la cosa la que vamos a ocupar could. Porque él uh -huh. pudo haber hecho eso. No te vas a ocupar con I could have porque tú no eras el que hizo la, la acción. I so I think that's something that I should explain at the end of the class before we finish. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. All right. Thank you for Keep on practicing. That. Let, let me, I'm going to talk about that at the end. Okay, thank you. Thank you. So, Veronica, let's go. Another. Um, like, how to say when you. Um, when you um, when you don't know how to swim um, and just just start like um, confused. Yeah, no, like when you you when you are in you know in the water, right? Uh -huh. like you don't you don't know how to swim, swim uh -huh. right? I will be. How do you say You will that? be like yeah the um, dying no 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 dying dying. No. It, I... <laughs> Man, I forgot. Uh, I have for. I have forgotten you could that have, word. You could have like. You could have drowning asking for for help. Uh, drowning, drowning. Uh, drown, yeah, you would. <laughs> you would be drowning, right? Bra how to say it again? Uh -huh. I, drowning, right? Drowning. Drowning. I think drowning. Drowning. Yeah. Drowning. That's right. Oh, all yeah, right. Okay. Yeah. Drowning. Okay. You, if you could have a drowning. The water. <laughs> you could have you could have drawn. You could have drawn. You could have yeah. drawn. I would have drawn in the water if I had gone to the beach That's yesterday. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You could have but you, lost. You, you didn't. I could have been in class last Thursday if I had if I hadn't forgotten to charge my phone. <laughs> That's right. For, right for next class, you could have, you no know, like, take that back. Let's go back, guys. Okay. All right, so let's wait for the people to come back. Here we are. Here we are. All right, guys. Thank you very much for coming back. Um, a couple of things that I want to point out. 
are the following. Normally, you can use should with everybody. Okay? Normally, we're going to use should with any type of subject. I should, you should, we should, he should have. Podemos ocupar el should con cualquiera de los sujetos. Um, would, I would recommend you to use it for yourself. Okay? Remember that you're giving an advice of what you would have done. Yeah. So normally we're going to say, I would have lo que yo hubiese hecho. Okay. Normally, right? This is a better and most common use. And uh, would, the person and would we, be the action. And we use should for you, right? Para nosotros o para cualquiera. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. For you, I will I have. I will have practiced mm -hmm. my grammar before. There you go. I wouldn't be having any problems mm -hmm. at the moment. Exactly. Yeah? And we are going to use could for the person who did the action. Okay. Normally, you don't use it by by yourself. Okay. Now, because right. if someone tells oh, you, "Hey, man, um, I didn't do the homework." Normally, we are not going to use "I could have." Porque tú no, no, tú no fuiste el que no hizo la tarea. Entonces, could lo podemos ocupar con la persona que hizo o no hizo la acción. He could have, they could have. Right. Si tú estás incluido, es en we, pero normalmente no ocupamos con I could have. All right. So, what about this? I could have helped you, but you didn't ask. Oh, okay. In that case, yes. Si tú te estás poniendo de ejemplo. Pero si vas a dar un consejo de lo que él, ella o quien sea que hizo la acción pudo haber hecho, ocupamos good. Okay. All right. Es un right. mejor orden que no está establecido en piedra, but that's, I consider it one of the best ways that you can use it. Should for All everything. Right. I should, you should, he should, would, normally use it, I would. I would. And I would. would, the person who did the action. All right. Okay. All right. So guys, I really hope that you can practice this. Remember, practice makes perfect. Because tomorrow I'm going to be asking questions about it. And I'm not going to be asking for volunteers, right? Mm -hmm. I'm going to okay. get some victims. Okay. Some victims. Okay. Do you know, like victims. that, right? Yeah. Do you like... Oh, by the way. You're enjoying it. You're enjoying it. Okay. Yeah, I, I enjoy being evil. No, I'm kidding. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> just, just to tell you, this team doesn't exist. It's a joke, okay? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right. So thank you very much, guys. It's a pleasure being with you today. This is Alejandro Marbona. Get out of here. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Bye. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Bye. 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 B